my chapel door. That's, that's how big that was. It was huge. That was a change, and, and it's not, chain, uh, not stopped since. Okay, now this is where your notes start. And I, I describe it this way because it makes a lot of sense to a lot of people. The, the Potomac system or the universe was a model that explained the motions of the heavens. And now here's the thing. For over 1,000 years, 1,000 years, this was perceived to be the correct model. Okay? For over 1,000. Now, let's talk about this for a second. Is everything that in the Potomac system or model, is everything wrong? Even to, and the answer to that is no. Some of it even today is correct. But it was su sufficiently wrong enough that if we'd have stayed on that path, we would be totally different than we are today. Okay? So now, <clears throat> we go to co the Copernican model, and he changed everything from the, su the Earth being the center to the Sun being the center. Now, is, it, was that closer to the truth? It absolutely is. It was a big improvement. Is the Copernican model now true? No. It had flaws in it, and we've met, since moved on from there. Okay, my point is that that is the way I think baseball, that's the way all information goes. You start and there is, it, you get stuck in something for a long time and finally somebody, usually outside the system, jostles it and you, and you make some changes. Some things still in the Copernican system even today are correct. Now, <clears throat> here's what happens. Even when you get it right, some swear you're wrong. Okay? Some will swear that you're wrong. So, Jim, when you started using some of this, did you get some of the weirdest looks you've ever gotten in your life? Evan? Right? Don? David? Okay. You, you, you know, so the people like, you're out of your mind. Jerry, they thought that about you for years. So, I don't, so but that's just the way that works. Okay? Now, uh, Galileo was even above, I mean, had even more ideas. He said the Copernican model wasn't even correct. The universe is even much larger than that. And for that brilliant thinking, he was put in house arrest for the rest of his life. Okay? Um, so a lot of people, the, the structure, and Brent says if we're going to wait for organized baseball, this would rep, <laughs> Brent, this kind of looks like some of the GMs you know, right? Uh, organized baseball have a vested interest, or some people have a vested interest in the, in the information staying the same. They don't want it to change because they don't want to look bad or they, whatever, whatever case may be. So we have to fight that. So just understand that's part of the process. The reason I bring that up is a lot of people, they, they think, I, I don't want them to get the information and go, you know, geez, people, I'm just not getting Valentine's Day cards because I've changed. You're not. You're going to get immediately, you're going to get more resistance not more support uh, whenever you're doing something different. Now, what is my view on the subject? Well, my view on the subject is, well, let's go to the guy that knows that we think is probably the best scientist of all time. Here's what he says. One thing I have learned in a long life that all our science measured against reality is primitive and childlike. Yes, the most precious thing we have. So what do you think, what is your estimate of what Einstein would say about the need to, ev uh, to keep evolving in thought. He would say that would be a 100% chance of that. Remember what he says, all of our science measured against reality is primitive. Okay? He didn't say it's almost, we almost got it. He said it's primitive. So when people go, man, you've almost got this pitching thing figured out, I just kind of laugh at him. Okay? I, I'm closer to where I was five years ago, but believe me, the more you know, the more you know that you didn't know. That's, that's how this thing goes. Relating this to baseball, people only see what they're prepared to see. Ralph Waldo Emerson, um, Paul Nyman has a, you know, we can only see what we can see. So I'm asking you right now, what are your current belief systems? What are your pitching paradigms? What is the center of your pitching universe? Well, I don't know what yours is. Let me tell you what mine was. Well, my, our, all of our universe is, uh, our belief system are based on our experiences, our education, training, and research. There are three...